Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video I've been putting off and putting off because I knew it would take a little bit of time. So I'm finally doing it. If you haven't seen Roman's memory box, I will put the link in the description below or in a card, whichever I get around to doing. His box was really emotional. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get as emotional with Mike is because he's still a little squishy baby and the reason I'm doing his memory box now is because it's has been his birthday he's turned a year old and I thought it might be nice to kind of reminisce on all the stuff I've picked up over the year. Roman's memory box he turned six when I did his memory box which was last year and he was my firstborn he was the one after all of the fertility treatment we'd gone through after everything all the tears all the injections you know it, it was a big moment for us and also he's grown up he's a big boy now and so his memory box was really emotional for me so I just wanted to point that out that that's why I got so emotional over Roman's Micah's He's still fresh, he's still a little baby, he's only just turned one and he's so teeny tiny and squishy and he still wakes in the night and he still breastfeeds and so he's still my little baby so there may not be tears, I don't know. So I've not actually looked in this memory box since things have been, been put in there, I've just been opening the lid up and putting things in there as they've come up. Um, there are some stuff that doesn't fit in there, my other kids have a much bigger memory box but um, since Mike is new it's, he's only got this little container so far and there's stuff that doesn't fit in there so it's just been sitting on top so this blanket was <laughs> i said i wasn't gonna get emotional but i think i probably will okay so this blanket was the very first blanket i'm gonna try and slot some photos in here too if i have time um this is the blanket that we were given at the hospital so the hospital gives you this blanket um mostly nanas and, and grandmas and stuff but anyone can like knit blankets and then they're donated to the hospital for the babies and they do hats and things as well so this is the first blanket he was wrapped in and i remember just keeping him snuggly and warm in here because he was born i suppose probably give you the stats if you don't know the story so he was born on the 10th of february 2017 at 6 20 something a.m after an emergency c-section um it was an induction um, but he decided to try and come out feet first, so it was a, an emergency C-section. Um, and he was born, he was only five pound, so he was teeny tiny. Um, we had to keep him really warm, and I remember just wrapping him up in this blanket and keeping him snugly and warm. Next blanket we have is this one, it was actually sent to me by a subscriber, and it was just really special because it's got his name on it, his mica, and it's absolutely filthy because we used it so much, so that probably needs to go through the wash before I put it in the box. At the moment it just sits on top of the box. But this was like a little blankie that he, he took around with him on his, like, I put it on him if he was in a trolley going doing so much shopping or in his capsule. Um, it was a perfect size for that, so that's in his memory box as well. Um, the last blanket um, to go in the memory box is this one, and that's because um, this is one of the first swaddles I got, and it was a gift to me. But it's also the swaddle I used for his month-by-month -month photo shoot. Next thing is memory box, which is only just a recent addition, is this onesie, and that's because this is the onesie he wore for all of his month by month photo shoots. Yeah, so I've only just popped that on top now because he's only just turned one, so I did the last photo not that long ago. The next recent addition is this, and this was his cake topper for his cake smash and his first birthday. This is one. I made it myself, just like these are just skewers. This is just some twine I found. These um, were from Kmart, and then I just got a stamp with some blank ink and stamped the one on it. Okay, now we're getting into the stuff that I haven't seen and I, I don't remember what's in here. So this was the cake topper, oh, here we go, oh baby. This is the cake topper from my baby shower. Um, I bought this cake topper from um, Love From 17. I've, most of my cake toppers are from Love From 17. Um, if you just look lovefrom17.co.nz or something like that, um, you'll find them. Um, but they're awesome, um, beautiful cake toppers. Okay, we have a Jetstar ticket. This is was Micah's very first flight. Um, these are all of his ultrasounds. Three D one. This bring back memories for you. It's bring back memories for me. Like all my daily tour baby videos and things like that. Oh. Okay, what's this? What's this? Oh yeah, this is the first time where I've had his blood sample returned. Um, so they, it's called the Guthrie test. It's a Hilprick test that they get. Checks for a whole bunch of disorders. Um, 
So with my other kids, I just, it, it got sent away and then they told me the results. This is the first time where it's actually been returned to me because I didn't know you could get it returned to you and I was just like, sure, get it returned to me. Um, some people are a bit, you know, some people out there are like, I don't want my DNA or my, my child's DNA out there for anyone to grab, but I'm pretty sure, surely they're destroyed once they're finished with it. I don't know, maybe my kids' blood samples are still out there being genetically cloned and stuff. Okay, this, this is pretty special and I'm not gonna tear up. I'm not gonna tear up, I'm not gonna tear up. <laughs> this is the size of our baby due 6th of the 3rd. Um, 2017 and it is a teeny weeny little sesame seed, uh, poppy, pop, sesame seed, sesame seed. Um, and this is how I told my husband that we were expecting our third baby, which was a huge shock to us. We were, we really couldn't believe that we we're expecting our third baby just from Famara because our, our first two babies are IVF and this one was not IVF and we were just like, we just couldn't believe that this was happening. Um, so this is how I did it for him on his birthday. I just have a couple of cards that he got for when he was born. Oh, okay, there's more than a couple of cards. There's quite a few cards in here from when he was born. All right, so the next thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This stuff fitted him. And if I can find photos of him in this stuff, I will put them in. We have this singlet. This singlet is the size of my hand. Like from palm to the tips of my fingers. Like, it's so tiny! Oh yes, his very first little cardi. We had to go buy him clothes because none of the clothes we had fit him. Um, look at this. Look at this. Look at this little cardi. Oh my gosh, it's like it's for a doll. And I know people with much more premature, like, tinier babies because they're premature. Michael wasn't premature, he was only born three weeks early. He was so teeny tiny, but the placenta was not feeding him well, so that's why he didn't grow much. My Nana, and, oh, these ones are from Rebecca. My friend Rebecca made these. I remember opening them up in hospital, they're so teeny tiny. So I kept them, I kept all the little, little stuff because he's my littlest baby. Roman was six pound one ounce. Mila Rose was six pound 14 ounces, and Michael was five pound. My Nana made these ones. Because so there was just no socks that fit him. His feet were so teeny tiny. This hat. This was the hat um, that they put on him when he was first born. Look at it. It's like pathetic. Look at it. Look at it. It is just stupidly small. So that was his little teeny tiny little hat. Oh, this hat. I remember getting this hat at my baby shower and going, yeah, that's too small. I don't think this hat's going to be used. But it fit because he had a teeny tiny head. It certainly fit. It was so teeny tiny. I mean, it's a little bit stretched now because I think I tried to shove it on his head for as long as I possibly could because it was so cute. Um, and it says New Zealand and it's got silver ferns on it because we're from New Zealand and New Zealand symbols like the silver fern. Um, this little outfit was the first outfit we purchased him when we left the hospital. We left the hospital and we went straight to like baby factory to try and find some clothes that fit him and there was just like this is all we could get this is extra small prem zero 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 is the size <laughs> one two three four five six zeros normal newborn baby stuff is normally like four zeros this is six zeros so i remember he i would like wash this and then put it straight back on him because it's the only thing that fit but it was really cute and that's why i've kept it i shouldn't i should really pass this on to other people but it's just i don't know you get attached to things his first little cardi that they gave us in the hospital. So the hospital's quite good. They actually give you quite a lot of blanket and clothes and stuff. So this is first little cardi. I know I definitely have a photo of him wearing this one. Another teeny tiny little shirt just to remind me how small he was. Look at that. It's just stupid. Stupidly ridiculously small. Oh, his teeny tiny little sock. Look at these. Look at these little socks. Oh my gosh, they're so teeny tiny. They're so cute. And I remember having these in my hand and taking a photo for like Facebook and Instagram and they looked huge in that photo but they're actually, they're actually teeny tiny. Like look at them. It's like the size of my nose. Oh, we've got the congratulations, you're having a boy. So this is the bit of paper that the, um, that the ultrasound tech wrote. 
um, cause we had a gender reveal party. So she wrote this down, put it in an envelope and then we got cupcakes made and one cupcake had blue in it and everybody came over and we had great food and then um, we all bit into the cupcake at the same time but only one of them had the blue and my friend Tamara was the one that found it. She was like, she kept it secret for like 10 seconds and before she was like, it's blue. Was, it was so exciting. So that's that, what that is. Okay, we have Micah's hand and foot casting, which Martin and I did ourselves, so it wasn't that great. But here's his teeny tiny little foot. It's so cute. There you go, that's how big it is compared to my hand. So the other kids actually have two hands, two feet, but I don't know, me and Martin stuffed it up this time, so we didn't do very well. <laughs> so that's the hand of foot casting. There's not much of the hand either. But hey, we got it. It's better than nothing, but look at that teeny tiny little foot. Right, the last of the clothing pieces, before I get into these little bits and pieces here, is this one. This was sent by one of you guys. Um, and I remember looking at it going, oh my gosh, that's so small. I'm like, I know he's getting small, but I don't think he's gonna be that small. He was that small. He lived in this. Like the two outfits, the one with the little bikes on it and this one, he lived in. Do you guys remember when I got sent this? And I was like, it's so adorable. Yep, well he fit it. He fit it and it was super cute. So that is also in his memory box. So whoever sent me that, I can't remember your name, but thank you really appreciate that we had something that fit him. <laughs> this little bag and in the bag we've got we have Micah's little tag that they put around his ankle. Oh upside down. No right way. So I kept the little tag. Um Martin's uh I know I keep the most random stuff. Um Martin's a little visitor sticker. The one that didn't get put on a shirt, so we got that. Time in, 3.10 a.m. 10th of the 2nd, 2017. There we go, his little visitor sticker. I've got his little belly button clip. I know, it's so gross. I don't know why I keep these things, but I do. You know, my kids are gonna find these when I'm like elderly and just probably chuck it all out. But to me, they're special. We've got his little, I need to put this in a probably a little bag, but his little belly button umbilical cord when it fell off. I've got Romans as well. And last but not least, the most precious things of all, because my life seems to be all about these, is the pregnancy test. Um, so this was one of the first ones which has a very, very, very faint line. I feel like I'm doing one of those pregnancy test things where no one can see anything. There we go. It was very faint. Ah, you can't see it, but it's a pretty obvious line, like I can see that, no problem. Anyway, these ones don't need any squinting. That one's falling apart, that's disgusting. But there's that one. There's that one. And then this one's the first response. So, I don't know when that was, that was probably when I was like, I don't know, 14 DPO or 15 or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, so that is the pregnancy test. Oh, this one, the test line's dark in the control line, so maybe it's a bit further along then. So maybe I would have been like five weeks pregnant when I took this or something. So that is Micah's memory box so far. Martin, these things make me emotional because I'm just like, it feels like yesterday, but it was so long ago now, you know? like. This here was June 2016, you know, and we're 2018 now, but it just, it feels like yesterday, you know, and it just, it just goes to show how fast time goes. Like, you guys who watched me from the beginning, you know, you would remember these things, and I don't know if for you it feels like yesterday, but for me, letting you guys know it felt like yesterday, and it's just, and now here is Ro Micah three kids now and I keep getting their names wrong. Now Micah is, you know, he just turned one and I just think that's so crazy. Right Micah, come and say a quick hello buddy. <laughs> There's a big smile. Look, he's got teeth now you guys. He's got two fangs. He's done to get a top one. <laughs> can you see yourself? Ow. You've done a poo poo. I can smell it. You s oh, did I embarrass you? I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. I heard too many embarrassing. All right guys. Holy smokes, it's stinky. Please change your nappy. But thank you so much for 
watching. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment if you'd like to and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.